Hey guys, I thought of putting together this video to give you a complete picture of what is going on with Comet Swan and Comet Atlas. Where are these two comets right now? Well, both these comets are flying in the northeast part of the sky just before the sunrise from 4.30 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. in the morning. If you wait a little longer, the sunlight is going to take over. It is right before the sun light is going to come up. I'm not sure about Comet Atlas because that is relatively close to the sun. Whereas Swan, even though it is closer to the sun, you might see the sun below the horizon and Swan just above the horizon. And if you have a professional binoculars or a telescope, you may have a chance to look at it. Unfortunately, it is not visible yet to the, um, you know, without uh, a telescope or a binoculars, it is very difficult to see it. But if it gets any brighter, we may have a tiny window to see that probably uh, either 27, 28, 29 or 30. I think that is the time it is very, very close to the sun. And just if you can find that window where sun is below the horizon, and the comet is above the horizon, you may have a very good chance to look at this comet. Let me give you a brief background about why we got here, where we are, right? So I, I never imagined in my lifetime that I will be looking at a comet that only comes in once in 5,000 years. And when I started learning, about some of these comets, some of them are actually coming from once in half a million years. So when we traced the comet atlas and where it is coming from, we calculated roughly around 5,000 years orbital path. Every 5,000 years, the comet atlas may be coming. Whereas when we look at comet Swan, it's not yet determined but there are calculations that estimates that this could be a very long distance comet coming from half a million years or 500,000 years. So these long distance comets are coming from two places mainly. Either Oort cloud, which is actually beyond the planet Neptune, which we consider as outside the solar system. And some of these are coming beyond the Oort cloud. We have something called Kuiper belt, which is around the solar system just before we go to another star. It is like halfway between our sun, which is our star, and halfway to the next star nearest to that one is called Kuiper belt. So some of the comets are coming from there too. So it all started back in December of 2019. So December 28, 2019, there is a program called ATLAS. ATLAS program stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Last Alert System. So this program, the ATLAS program, it has two telescopes currently. Both of them are in Hawaii. They are robotic telescopes. They do sky surveys and look at the asteroids that are coming towards the earth and it basically alerts if there is something coming towards us. So this program and these telescopes found the Comet Atlas. That's why we named the Comet Atlas. When we first discovered this comet, it was re relatively very low magnitude, very less bright. It was like 19.6, pretty faint. And it was quite far too. It was almost three astronomical units from us. So what is an astronomical unit? One astronomical unit is a distance from Earth to the Sun. So it is three times the distance from us to the Sun. That's how far it was back in December 2019. So by the time it came close to the Earth, in the recent past, it was anywhere between 0.25 to 0.7. So it traveled pretty fast all the distance 
roughly around like 23 miles per second or 38 kilometers per second so there was an analogy that if ever this comet comes near the moon it only takes 2 hours or 2.5 hours for it to come all the way from the moon to the earth it is traveling that fast when it came closer to the earth it became several thousand times brighter almost up to magnitude of 8 so there are predictions out there when we started looking back in march that this comet is going to get very bright as bright as mag 3 or mag of minus 3 as well which is going to make it look like planet venus out in the sky which is the brightest planet that we can see so while we are enjoying taking pictures and videos of comet atlas we found another comet it is called comet swan it is coming kind of behind the sun the name of the comet comet swan came from the camera on the soho spacecraft so the soho spacecraft is supposed to calculate the hydrogen signature in the sun it actually found the hydrogen signature outside the sun so the name of the comet became comet swan and when we saw this comet orbit it is coming from the southern hemisphere like you know australia africa those are the people that can see this comet and it comes slowly towards the northern hemisphere during the month of april while we are all expecting the comet atlas to get brighter when we start taking pictures of comet atlas we found that comet atlas was dimming initially there were reports that comet atlas was broken into four or five pieces and when hubble started taking pictures of comet atlas it actually found closer to two dozen pieces by end of april 20 april 25 time frame we found probably a two dozen comets and the outer shell of comet atlas was broken a day after we discovered comet swan on march 27th we discovered another comet it is called comet neowise comet neowise is going to come close to the sun around july time frame besides neowise we still have other comets in the sky comet pan stars comet lemon these are the comets that were discovered back in 2019 2017 well if i do have another chance to take pictures of these two comets definitely i will share some more pictures or any other comets i'll keep an eye on the comet neowise as well if you are new to this channel i take pictures of comets galaxies asteroids supernova so if you are interested in these videos please feel free to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching